Hey everybody, welcome back to a max velocity weather forecast and today what we're going over is that severe weather potential for both today and tomorrow across portions of the northern central plains and as well as portions of the Midwest. The latest on the timing, intensity, threats to expect all is going to be in this forecast. Let's get right into it. So as of right now, there is a slight risk of severe weather that does include North Dakota as well as South Dakota and even western portions of Minnesota. There's also a marginal risk that extends down as far west actually as Colorado, goes as far east East is areas like eastern Minnesota. The main threats this afternoon and evening will be damaging winds, significant large hail, and as well as a low-end tornado threat will exist. Here's a look at that damaging wind threat this afternoon. Your highest chance for 70 mile per hour winds or greater will likely be in this hatched area here. Otherwise, the best chance again anywhere in that yellow shaded region, about a 15% chance. So widely scattered damaging winds are expected today. Here's a look at that hail threat as well. Hail threat will primarily be up here in northern uh, portions of North Dakota, and this will definitely be an area to watch later this afternoon, especially even for a tornado threat there may be a tornado or two with a storm uh, that we might see later this evening so definitely another area to watch very closely all right let's take a look at the timing this afternoon and evening you can start to see by five six o'clock we'll start to see some storms developing back out in northwestern portions of north dakota by seven eight o'clock supercell is going to develop i expect at least one or two to probably develop again any cells like this that do develop will pose a significant large hail threat so we very well could see hail beyond the size of tennis balls it could go as high as baseball to even up to grapefruit size with a storm or two otherwise that will be the main threat maybe some damaging wind gusts around 65 70 miles per hour and also a possibility for a tornado will exist by nine o'clock you can start seeing near devil's lake storms approaching that region by 10 to 11 o'clock these storms will eventually move into minnesota here's a look at that timing for minnesota by 11 o'clock it'll start to move into grand forks eventually by 12 to 1 o'clock those storms are moving off to the east still posing maybe some damaging winds or some quarter sized hail other than that those will start to kind of weaken as they move off to the east some more shower and storm activity going to thursday morning for those in minnesota but over Overall, that will not most likely be severe. Maybe just a couple of storms that are most likely just going to be ordinary. Here's a look at the timing for South Dakota. We'll have some showers and storms this afternoon. Not going to probably be nearly as prominent in terms of hail or even a tornado threat. It'll probably just mainly be damaging winds. You can see by 7, 8 o'clock, more of a Boeing area of showers and storms kind of developing. Again, nothing very uh, prominent, anything that's really depicted on radar. But we very well could see some strong downbursts with those storms as that moves out to the east. Eventually going to the overnight hours, a few more storms maybe in northern South Dakota. But other than that, uh, most of that activity should be moving out by as early as you know late this evening it's potentially early overnight hours here's looking at the marginal threat for tomorrow by the way we do have an ongoing marginal threat for severe weather this may change by the time i upload this but i don't think it'll change too dramatically uh here's a look at the ongoing threat though it includes michigan as well as uh wisconsin uh iowa as well as southern and southeastern portions of minnesota it goes all the way back out to the west into nebraska and far northern kansas the main threats seem to be damaging winds and some large hail a low-end tornado threat though will exist closer to areas like wisconsin as well as areas near michigan so definitely something to watch there here's like that timing first off for wisconsin as well as michigan by 1 to 2 o'clock, we'll start to see some storms going through areas like Ironwood and as well as northern portions of Wisconsin going to eventually into northern Michigan. By 3 to 4 o'clock, those storms move off to the east. For the most part, the storm activity will kind of diminish. There might be a couple of more storms after the fact, maybe closer to the evening hours or even going to the overnight hours. Most of that will move through the northern portions of Michigan, though. But eventually, overnight, we'll have a few showers and storms developing going through areas like northern and western Michigan. So this might be an area to watch for maybe some isolated quarter-sized tail or damage winds up to 60 miles per hour so definitely an aware area to watch pretty closely for maybe a little bit of marginal threats for severe weather in the overnight hours into the early morning hours the next day here's a look at the timing for those in nebraska as well as kansas 10 to 11 o'clock a lot of shower and storm activity again potential for some severe weather will exist you can see there near north platte by about midnight one o'clock in the morning storms move off to the north and east going toward lincoln as well as omaha by three to four o'clock those storms move off to the north and east again main threats seem to be damaging winds upwards of 70 miles per hour and maybe some hail up to the size of golf balls may be possible with the storm or two so definitely another area to watch for tomorrow make sure you stay updated again with max velocity here on our youtube channel for the latest make sure to hit the subscribe button down below we are only like 20 subscribers away from 8,000. so make sure to hit the subscribe button down below this forecast is brought to you by platinum contracting all things repair and patriot safe rooms